so the, i'm going to start with the second module fundamental principles of counting or fundamental counting principles so the basic first we have to know the two principles what that is rule of sum and rule of product so here our study of discrete and combinatorial mathematics uh, begins with the principles of counting that is the rule of sum and the rule of product so rule of sum means if a first task can be performed in m ways if a first task can be performed in here if a first task can be performed in m ways and a second task can be performed in n ways and the two tasks cannot be performed simultaneously then performing either the task can be accomplished in any one of m plus n ways so uh, the in this if a first task is given one of if, if for example easiest way is you can remember all these statements along with an example so first of all let me tell you about a small example a college library has 40 textbooks on sociology and 50 textbooks dealing with some another subjects maybe let us take it as mathematics by the rule of sum why it is selected as rule of sum so there are we must know that that 40 textbook in one subject and 50 textbook in another subject so we have to know that the is, is the sentences a student in this college can select only one textbook is allowed to take only one textbook which means that how many options are there to select a textbook for the student so a student is allowed to select only one textbook which means he can select uh, out of these books how much is possible or what are the options here possible so here the rule of sum is allowed here because a first task is another way that is 40 textbook that is entirely different and the 50 textbook is also another task so it is the second task first task is 40 textbook and the second one is 50 textbook so here both are different both are different but the meaning is the both are not performed simultaneously it is not necessary that both the textbook has to be selected the rule is the student can select only one textbook so out of these textbooks how many options are there for a student that is the question it is asked here so by the rule of sum a student at this college can select 40 plus 50 that means either the meaning is he can select either one of the textbook from the sociology or he can select one of the textbook from mathematics which means that in short 40 plus 50 or means here denotes the positive symbol so 40 plus 50 is equal to 90 textbooks that means the student has 90 options to select a single textbook so here we are performing the rule of sum remember that rule of sum means if a first task is performed in m ways and second task is performed in n ways both are entirely different because they are distinct and the two tasks cannot be performed simultaneously then performing either the task can be accomplished in any one of m plus n ways so that means if the both the textbooks are there he the student has to select only one textbook which means that how many options are there for the student so he can select either from the 40 one of the textbook or from the 50 one of the textbook that means 40 or 50 plus that means 40 plus 50 equal to 90 textbook which means that he has 90 options to select a single textbook so this is the first example now second one is rule of product the rule of product is here see the sentence so on seeing this sentence you can see see here if one event occurs in m ways if one of the event one event 
can occur in m ways and another event occurs in n ways then the number of ways that both the events can occur that means the sentence is you have to remember that if for the first a task is performed in m ways and the second task is performed in n ways then the student here both the events that means both the task has to be performed simultaneously that is the rule here so here both the task has to be performed simultaneously which means that both the events can occur in m into n ways why m into n ways that means he first task m from the m he can select one textbook and he can select one more textbook from the another second task so here both the events has to occur simultaneously means you have to select rule of product either any one of the task has to be performed means you have to select rule of sum so rule of product in the or example we can move on to the an example that is i'll give an example here see the drama club of a central university is holding tryouts for a spring Oh, so it's a drama club of a central university having six men and eight women so here the auditioning is going on so they have to select in the auditioning they have to select a male candidate one male and also they have to select one female which means that here there is an option so above you have to think that which method has to be applied either rule of sum or rule of product so both has to be selected means you have to apply rule of product so we have to apply rule of product here so the rule of product is if both the events has to occur simultaneously that means out of the six men out of the six men he has to select one male and he has to select one female that means and out of the eight female he has to select one more person so therefore he has an possibility of the option is 6 6 c1 means 6 into 8 so 8 is equal to 48 ways the person has 48 ways to select so this is the option so a drama club has a central university with the six men and eight women for the auditioning or uh, in that they need the read the condition what they need so they need that they need a leading male and a leading or one female so by the rule of product if the leading couple he need a leading couple so that he has to select one male and one female that means we can apply the rule of product the rule of product is 6c1 and 8c1 if from the 6 we have to select one and from the 8 he has to select one that means 6 into 8 is equal to 48 this is the rule of product first of all the thing is you are not you will not be able to understand the steps suddenly uh, just going on only you can understand so the next one is see here during a local campaign eight republican and five democratic candidates are nominated for president of the school board if the president is to be one of the candidate the question is if the president is to be one of the candidates how many possibilities are there for an eventual winner so what are the possibilities so first task contains eight republican and second task contains five republicans which means that if the president is to be one of the candidate the president can be from see listen here the first task contains eight republicans so the first one is eight republican and the second task is five democratic so democratic candidate so from this he we have to select the first task is 8 and the second task is 5 
so both the candidates you listen, read the sentence very carefully both has to perform or either any one of them has to perform the question is if the president is to be one of the candidate if the president is to be one of the candidate means what is the meaning for this So we have to select one of the candidate that means we have to apply rule of sum or rule of product which means any one of them we have to select so we have to apply the rule of sum that means by using the rule of sum out of the eight you have to select one person or out of the five you have to select one of the person that is 8 or means plus 5 that is equal to he has 13 possibilities so out of the 13 possibilities we select one of the person so this is applying by rule of sum so first of all I have written the answers very simply so you can write it very elaborately also so during your local campaign eight republican and five democratic candidates are the first task is performed in eight ways and second task is performed in five ways so therefore we have to we have to read the question very carefully and understand that which method has to be applied either the rule of sum or rule of product if the president is to be one of the candidate one of the candidate that means any one from that how many possibilities are there so number of possibilities so one of the candidate means rule of sum because either from the eight we select one person or from the five democratic we select one of the person or symbol denotes here the positive sign that means eight plus five is equal to 13 possibilities now coming to the next part see how many possibilities exist for a pair of candidates one of the part each part to one of the each part it is given here for each part we have to select to opposite each other for eventual election so here how many possibilities exist for a pair of candidate the condition is you are having eight Republican and five Democratic candidates you have to select a pair of candidate so the condition is you have to select a pair of candidate so a pair of candidate the condition is the the condition is each part one from each part that means both has to occur both events has to occur simultaneously which means that we can apply the rule of sum so the rule of sum uh, sorry so rule of sum not it is rule of product so by using the rule of product because if a first task is what is the rule of product the first task is performed in m ways and the second task is performed in n ways both the events has to occur simultaneously then the number of occurrence for the possibility is m into n it is given there which means that by using the rule of product we can say that out of the eight we have to select one and out of the five democratic we select one of the person that is equal to eight and here denotes the product symbol so eight into five is equal to 40 possibilities so how many chances are here 40 possibilities so therefore the question is how many possibilities exist for a pair of candidate it is asked here a pair of candidate one from each part opposite to each other so since there are eight possibilities here we have to take the republic party eight from the republic party and five from the democratic party the number of possibilities is by using the rule of product we are having eight into five that is from the eight we select one of the person and out of the five democratic we select one of the person therefore eight into five is equal to 40 possibilities 